Hey guys, welcome back to Master Room Gaming Studios. I'm Craig, and just like that, GW has dropped another reveal for the Tiernan Codex. Uh, hopefully they don't just keep doing this, because I'm going to make one every day, or maybe they do. Uh, whatever, I'll take it either way. But today, they have released knowledge, rules, previews of the Norn Assimilator and Norn Emissary. So we're going to dive into those models, because these are the big models they are selling for this. They're only coming in at $115 US. So I'm looking forward to picking up at least one of each of these eventually. Maybe after seeing these rules, we'll want more than that. We'll find out in this. So if that all sounds good, do like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content here at Mouse Room Gaming Studios. And thank you members. With all that out of the way, let's dive into today's video. So this will be a pretty short one. We just have some rules about the Norn Assimilator and Norn Emissary. Some basic stats, a few special rules, not the whole preview, unfortunately. We'll start with the Norn Assimilator. Personally, my least favorite out of the two, but still a cool model. Maybe a few tweaks to the, uh, to the model itself will make me like it a bit more. Anyway, we have its base profile. So a 10 inch move, good move for the way 10th edition has evolved. That's a, that's a fast profile. It's got some decent durability. It's toughness 11, a two up armor save, 16 wounds is a good number of wounds there. Uh, it's also got leadership seven and an OC of five, which five is not bad at all. Uh, we know about its harpoon toxin, uh, let's see, it's toxin injector. Toxin injector, not toxic injector. Toxin injector, harpoon. It's got a special harpoon keyword. I would like to say that I called this when we they previewed it. Uh, I did the live stream, we covered it. I said it live. I bet that this is gonna give something, some benefits to charging. And here we go. So if this model targets a monster or vehicle and is hit by one or more of the attacks until the end of that turn, each time the bear selects a un one of those units as a charge target, add two to the charge roll. So that's actually, that's really good. Uh, my initial thoughts that come to this are you could strategic reserve this and then come on on an edge, come within nine inches of a vehicle or monster, do the harpoon, you know, maybe you get some good damage in, but more importantly, you can have a seven inch charge coming out of deep strike. I think that's a good one, but still it's fast. So maybe you just run it up the table too. Depends on your opponent's list. Then we'll go into the Norn Emissary, my favorite personally. And again, I I kind of called a lot of this one too. A uh, 10 inch move, same thing, uh, huge durability. Toughness 11, 16 wounds, same as before, but it's got a two up save, a four up invone save, having all that psychic warp fielding. And it has a five up feel no pain, potentially, just like I didn't show that, did I show that? Yeah, potentially five up feel no pain, it's not all the time. We'll talk about it in a second. So even better durability. It's got great psychic attacks. I did say, hopefully it's got the psychic might of two or three zonthropes, and yes, it does. We have the synaptic tendril is three variations of a psychic attack. You pick one of them. You got neuroparasite, nice to see that coming back. It is a precision psychic attack. Two attacks, 18 inch range, hitting on two, strength eight, AP minus two, D3 damage. So if your opponent's got a character that's, you know, you need to just shrug a little bit of damage off of it. On average, this thing does, what, four wounds to most characters? So it's not amazing. But again, if you just need to plink off a few wounds to a key character, you could do it. The Neuroblast, which is a decent one, 18 range again, 2d6 attacks. Uh, it is Blast, so if you, you know, have some extra Blast keywords in there, great. Boy skill 2, strength 6, AP minus 2, 1 damage. Again, good for clearing hordes. Uh, 2d6 blast is a nice, nice potential in damage. Would have liked to see maybe a, I don't know, a 3d3 or maybe a, a 3d3, a d6 plus 6, d6 plus 3, something to be a bit more consistent because 2d6 is a bit random. But, you know, it, it's still okay. And then we have the Neural Lance which is two shots, bullet steel two, strength 12, AP minus three, D6 damage. 
melted too. So if you can get this thing with a nine inch range, D6 plus two damage on those shots. Overall, these aren't like groundbreaking psychic attacks, but they do add to the range potential of a Norn Emissary for sure. Now we do have some notes on both of them. They do share a couple rules, so they did talk about those. First off, one of the biggest things we know about these is the singular purpose. Now this is, they teased what this, they would have some rule regarding this. And there we go. Again, it was pretty easy to predict what the rules were roughly going to be. They gave us a lot of details when they released the model. But again, it, I kind of called it. So you get to choose one of two things for both of them. Both of these get to do it. And if you have like three of each or something, they each get to pick their own unit or something. So that's kind of cool. First off, uh, select one enemy unit. That unit gets, or when you target that unit with one of these units, full reroll to hit and full reroll to wound against that unit for the entire game. Could, could be very good. The next one is you select an objective marker. When they are in range of that objective marker, they have OC 15 and a five up feel no pain, which is where the five up feel no pain I mentioned comes in from. Personally, I think I'm, you're gonna want to pick the objective one most of the time, especially if you only are bringing one of these. If you're bringing two or three of each of these, or maybe one of each, maybe one is more aggressive and one is more on the objective. My worry with the, where you pick one unit is that maybe that player hides that unit the whole game or kites your thing around. Maybe it's not something that's gonna be running up the board. You might, you might lose some potential damage potential trying to chase down that one unit. So that's my only downside there. If opponents bring something that's going to be charging up the board, then pick that unit and go charge it, meet it headlong, and you'll probably do fine. But if you don't have something like that, picking the center objective and just having OC 15 and 5 up feeling of pain on it is insanely good. A 2 up, 4 up, 5 up is extremely tough to deal with when you have 16 wounds. And likely the OC doesn't degrade. So, yes, good. Uh, some other things is that both of these are synapse creatures. I was surprised the assimilators are synapse creature. I thought maybe he'd have some special rule that worked around synapse, but he wasn't synapse himself. Nope, he's a synapse creature, so that's cool. But neither of them are characters. I would have guessed the Norm Emissary was going to be a character. But no, none of them are, so no enhancements on these guys, so their profile is their profile. You will get the enhancements from, or the bonuses from your detachment you take but that's about it so interesting there uh that's that's pretty much all we know so i think they're looking good like all of these previews it's gonna hinder on the point cost more than everything these guys are looking great are they gonna be 300 points like a hero duel are they gonna be 250 like a hive tyrant or swarm lord probably not they're close they're gonna be at least 300 points are they going to screw up and say these things are 450 points? Hopefully not. I, If I had to guess, I'm going with like 325 points each, maybe, right around there. That would be my guess. Will they be worth it at that price? I think, I th think they will. But we'll see when the Codex comes out in a very short amount of time. Just a reminder because we're talking about the Norman Emissary kit. We have a giveaway going. If we hit, when we hit 10K subscribers, I will give away a Norman Emissary slash a similar to one of our lucky subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you mem members for keeping this going. And we'll see you next time here at Mouse Gaming Studios.